and welcome back to Roy and Rescue. I just got an email from one of the rescue fans asking about what to do if you get a chemical in the eye, specifically an acid-based chemical. Um, they were afraid that they might not have quite done the correct treatment and they weren't sure if we were still flushing it with water. So I wanted to address it really quick. One of their concerns on the side of that was, what if it's a dry chemical? Aren't there certain chemicals that shouldn't be mixed with water? And that's a great question and I wanted to address it really quick. Yes, there are chemicals that don't do well with water. And I wouldn't necessarily uh, call them chemicals. There are elements that really react with water badly. Uh, potassium, sodium, fluorine, there's a bunch of them. Um, and some dry chemicals, alkali-based, would sometimes not do well as well. So the rule of thumb is if you get a dry powder on your skin, you think it might be a chemical that could cause burns, we try to brush that off with gloved hands um, as best we can to get as, m the, as much of it off as we can prior to actually irrigating it with water. At that point, we're gonna wash it off with soap and water as, as much as we can and irrigate it for at least 15 minutes. Ideally, we'll have diluted the chemical and gotten the bulk of it off before we had any reaction with the water. Now, getting back to the eye chemical exposure, I wanna talk about just some simple things to do. First of all, it goes without saying that we should probably have worn some form of safety protection. However, I would be a hypocrite if I told you that you know around the house especially, it's very easy to just say, hey, I gotta just clean up the sink really quick with some bleach solution and uh, I mean, how many of us literally go out and put on safety glasses to do that? Although it's a good idea, it's probably not uh, feasible. And so we do run these risks for eye exposure from different chemicals. Your over-the-counter chemicals will usually have some form of first aid on the back of the bottle that explain what to do if you get exposure, if you ingest it, if it gets in the eye, so on and so forth on the skin. Other chemicals that are in bulk might actually not have those types of directions directly on the container. They would have an MSDS sheet, a material safety data sheet. And on that material safety data sheet should include the dangers and what to do first aid while waiting for emergency services. When we get a chemical in the eye though, it can cause an enormous amount of damage. In fact, there are um, there are pictures of people that have had serious burns to the eyes where it, it just blinds them terribly, it causes all kinds of scar tissue or permanent damage. <clears throat> it's definitely nothing that we want to mess around with. Remember, when we're treating the patient, we need to realize that this patient is blind. We might as well treat them that way. Even if it's temporary, they can't see. Their eyes are, are irritated, they're burning, they're panicking, they can't see. We need to lead them carefully to a water source where we can begin to irrigate their eyes. We may actually have to pry their eyelids open. Remember that this could be a hazardous scene for the rescuer, so donning personal protective equipment is always a good idea. Then while we're keeping the eyelids open, we're going to be uh, diluting uh, the chemical in the victim's eyes by, even if it's a sink and running water, if we have sterile bottles of water, if we have clean water source, if you have a garden hose, if you have uh, an eye wash station, that's ideal. But remember, once we start irrigating the eye, it's gonna be a long time. It's gonna be 15 minutes minimum to try to dilute whatever chemical has gotten into the person's eye in order to reverse the reaction of that chemical. Activate emergency medical services, keep the patient calm, stay calm yourself, keep irrigating the eyes, and when EMS arrives, tell them what chemical it was they were exposed to. If you know what you were, you were doing to treat them, and then they'll take over care from there and get them to the hospital with usually with continued care, continued dilution of that, of that uh, chemical that was in their eye. So good question that came in. I hope this helps. Uh, until next time, keep on rescuing and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.